Hi, superstars. It's been a hot minute. Happy payday. I think last time I went live it was for a booking blitz challenge. So now I'm back with another challenge. I just wanted to share a couple things that I'm doing right now to grow my club. Um, as a lot of you know, I already have a big Cincy Club base. I have about 80, I usually have around 80 subscriptions, subscribers, with about 75 subscriptions. Um, did I say that backwards? 75 subscribers with about 80 to 82 subscriptions, yeah. Because some people have two subscriptions. Um, but just wanted to share a couple things that I'm doing that you can do, um, and I want to challenge you to grow your Scentsy Club. Good morning, uh, Molly. Hey, Megan. I, so we're in the middle of this challenge, as it is, that Scentsy has given us to grow our club, which I think is amazing because we already have an incentive that we're working toward, and now they're giving us incentives on top of incentives. Like, this is, they've never done this. So, if you want to grow your club to earn that incentive, but also to get residual income, because who doesn't want to wake up to hundreds of dollars in orders after you just slept, it's the best thing ever. Um, I should be getting about 2,000 PRV this month just from Cincy Club alone. So just just know, I'm not saying that to brag, I'm saying that because I know what I'm talking about. I've been building my club since 2020. And the key with that is you can't just build your club and that be your only source of income. Like yes, it's great to have that, it's great to have that 2,000 PRV a month or 200 PRV a month to get active or 500 PRV to get leadership bonuses from Cincy Club every month. But the thing is, if you're only focused on Cincy Club and you're not networking, which is partying, fundraisers, events, um, just getting out and meeting new people, using social media to meet new people, however you're doing that, um, if you're not starting there, you're going to run out of people to get in Cincy Club. And then... If you're doing your job right with having join conversations, those clubbers are going to join and then you're going to lose clubbers. So it's a, it's a cycle. Like it's networking, networking and partying. Then that gives you plenty of customers because you're continuously growing your customer base to get people in club and then have those club conversation, those join conversations with your clubbers because those clubbers are who you need to be getting to join. If they are invested enough in Cincy and loving enough to be spending that kind of money with you that often, you need those people to be joining. It's a no brainer for them. So I wanna to talk to you about growing your club, but I want you to remember, it's not just about growing your club and just relying on that to be all your PRV. Growing your club is gonna give you a great residual income from your PRV but you have to compensate for the people who may cancel their subscription or who may join. So that's how I maintain around 80 every month. I don't really lose any because if I lose one from joining, I'm replacing that, if that makes sense. Um, <clears throat> so with that being said, my biggest gateway for Cincy Club has always been with Box, and I've trained on this so many times. So like if you go to my YouTube channel, I have a whole playlist with just Cincy Club trainings. So some of this is gonna be a repeat, but a lot of you have never heard me train on it. You've never watched those YouTube videos or you weren't around when I did a, a team training for um, Cincy Club. But something I'm doing right now with the WIF box is I am using Project Broadcast. So I'm obsessed with Project Broadcast. It has automated my business so much. Like I, I did 7,200 PRV last month, and I worked less last month than any September I've ever worked. That is, sorry, I had an alarm go off. Cincy Club is one way that my business is automated now, and the second way is Project Broadcast. The third way is emails, but my biggest income producer is Project Broadcast Text. And I use those in different ways. So I will use Project Broadcast for um, like text blasts. So like 
something that is a like a sale, a flash sale. That's going to go out to everybody. Um, if I have a personal special or boo bags or you know something like that, that's going to go out to everyone. Um, and then a lot of times I will use it for individual things. So like Disney villains, for example. Everybody doesn't want to know about Disney villains. So I'm going to know who wants to know about Disney villains when that comes out. And I'm going to have them tagged. So I can go in and I can schedule a text to go out to 15 people who love Disney villains. And it goes out all at once and they can respond to me or whatever. And it just looks like a normal text. I can even insert their name. So it's super, um, oh man, my ghost fell over already. How many of you saw my tomato cage ghost? It's real cute, but it already fell over. So there's that. We're going to have to do something about that situation. I'm going to try to stop in my driveway so that hopefully my car doesn't try to connect to my Wi-Fi and go no service. And let's pray that Scarlett stays asleep. I may have to keep driving. Something I'm doing in particular right now that I did yesterday, yesterday or two days ago, sometime this weekend, I sent out a text to everybody that's on my project broadcast list. And I asked, do you want to, I can post a screenshot because I can't remember the exact verbiage, but I, put, um, I sent out, do you want to be on my with box spoiler alert list? Just like us consultants have a spoiler alert page to be the first to see what's in the with box. Think about how exciting that is. Are we just going to have to go home? Yeah, you done got interrupted. She's her poor, this poor child. She has done got interrupted her morning nap like three times this morning. We're getting back into school routine after fall break and then we had an appointment and now she's got woke up again. So she's not very happy. But anyway, um, I asked them if they want to be on that list. And like I said, I'll post, I'll post a, a screenshot so you can see like exactly what I said. But it was exciting. It was simple. And I had about 40 people opt in to that so far. Um, ooh. So now every single month, as soon as I see the Whiffbox contents, they're going to get the Whiffbox contents. And they're going to be the first. So it's like a VIP thing. Um, so yes, you could do that in your VIP group, but the thing about posting, whether it's on a group, whether it's on your personal page, not everybody's going to see that. I like personal reach outs and Project Broadcast is awesome because what you can do is you can go in and you can set up a keyword. So what I did was I went in and set up the word, key, the keyword with box. And what I had them do was if they wanted to be added to that list, I had them respond with box. So I sent out this message to like 400 people or however many people are on my list. And it went out without me doing any work. It took me three minutes maybe to schedule it, maybe five, because I had to set up the keyword. Um, and when they responded with Box, it automatically responded to them, awesome, I've got you on the list, and it tagged them with Box. So now all those people are tagged with Box. So every single month I can go in and I can um, schedule a campaign, a text blast to go out to everyone tagged with Box. So it'll send out to all 40 of those people without me even having to do like any work. And then when they respond, that creates the conversation to get them in Cincy Club if they're not already or you know, whatever. So that is my gateway. I always have if somebody wants a with box, I typically don't give them the option to order it from my website. They only have the option to order it through club. You know, I tell them and I'll post the verbiage in the comments in a screenshot for that too. Like this is how you get the discount. We don't, you know, and I tell them $31.50 for $57 worth of contents. Or if you need to spend $60, you can get it for 15. So that's like the biggest way I get people into Cincy Club always get my bars a huge way too. Um, this month, everybody who is ordering the Hippo Buddy, I'm showing them the Hippo Buddy clip and trying to get them to get that with box. So just thinking outside the box, the box, um, getting creative. 
So I'm gonna challenge you. I'm gonna grab her. I'm gonna challenge you to get two new clovers this month. This month. I've got two just in the last two days. So I know you can do it. I'm gonna help this baby. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm gonna post.